Hello everybody, here's Ahmed Nasser. This tutorial we want to take an example on uh, Visual Studio, how to change the style and look and feel of Visual Studio. Uh, first thing you need to do is downloading in uh, or buy a component called .NET PAR and uh, this component leads you to modify the look and feel of the uh, Visual Studio. So I already downloaded all the material, all the, uh, the stuff here so after you downloaded the .NET PAR, you gotta see the .NET PAR sample explorer. Uh, so just hit the, uh, the .NET PAR, and uh, after you click it, you should see a new screen. And this uh, screen, as you can see here, give you just uh, an examples of using the Metro, the Ribbon, Microcharts, and other stuff are available. Uh, in the uh, uh, .NET PAR. Uh, the first thing I want to show you is the galleries. Uh, galleries is a, a, a new uh, implemented component inside the uh, as you can see inside the .NET PAR. So different galleries, different stuff are showing here. Uh, we can see other thing, uh, other thing like uh, ribbon bed uh, which is other component. Um, Okay, that's the, it, as you can see here. This is a uh, ribbon bed. So as you can see here, we got the layout. You can modify and do all the stuff here. Uh, okay, uh, this is pretty much. I want to go in depth in the, the .NET bar. Just want to be uh, show you how to uh, work with it. So the first thing I need you to do, uh, just going to uh, the Visual Studio, and uh, let me just get rid of this. Okay. So here we got the Visual Studio uh, 2010 Ultimate. Uh, I need you to figure out or notice here the files, the DLL files, which is, are very uh, important for us. And there is also uh, an HTML uh, help file. You can uh, see it and look for it. So for now, just start the Visual Studio. And uh, from here, uh, we can go to creating new projects so I just hit new project and just want to work with uh, uh, Windows form this type of application so here we can check the project and uh, ESP uh, you can make an ESP but it is another uh, .NET bar component here we just want to focus on the Windows form application so here you just say uh, test Okay, just type this and I create a new project. Say okay. Okay, here we want to create a new project. Okay. Okay, as uh, you can see here, we just started a new project. If you go to the tool uh, toolbox, uh, we got we can see a lot of component here, but we don't got the dev component. Or the you know .NET dev component. In order to get it inside your project, all you need to do is just go into references and try to add a new reference. So click on add references, and uh, here you can go browse. And from browse menu, you can go to the dev component that we are talking about. So if you go to uh, C, I think 86 because I got 64 bit. Yeah, and we got. We, we, Okay, .NET PAR. So here we can see the uh, div component. Uh, there's uh, a lot of things here, but I wanna choose uh, one of these, which is the .NET BAR 2. So I just select it and select OK, and it's already in our uh, project. So after this, go to uh, tabs and try add a new tab. Let's say uh, div. Uh, component and here we just want to choose the items so in order to choose the item you need to select do the same thing as we did before uh, this requires some time about 20 seconds uh, before that let me just check uh, the okay here's a file so we got, as you can see here we got uh, one two three four five we just care about this uh, dot this one DLL file so we want to 
take this component and implement it in our project. So as you can see here, we have this window. Uh, we need to add the div component into our project. Uh, so let's browse and go to uh, computer again, see uh, Windows 86. And uh, here we got the .NET component. Where is that? Here we go. So here we select the .NET part 2. Okay, and open it. As you can see here, we got all these files selected. So uh, you can, uh, as you can see here, you can select whatever you want from these. So uh, uh, you can select them all. But for me, I just want to, uh, okay, you just I, I want to select them all. So I come to the files and just select them. As you can see, control and click in one of these. So I just want to select them all. Highlighter, list, it, metro app, all that. You can select, you can see them all here. So after this, all you need to do is just uh, OK, hit OK, in order to bring all these components into the toolbox. So after you click there, you can see all the toolbox component or the okay that component that we're talking about are all listed here okay so in order to work w uh, to work with uh, one of these uh, you can basically come to add our style manager so we have a style manager just drag and drop into your form so after you drag it and drop it you can see it here style manager uh, okay so if you go to the style manager and uh, try go press F F4, uh, if you press F4, you will see the properties. So I'm just gonna sh uh, select one of these uh, style manager styles. So let me select the blue one. Okay. After this, I want to change the form to have a, you know, a look and feel similar to Microsoft Office. So I want to drag and drop uh, a ribbon bar. Uh, so if you dra drag and drop a ribbon bar, uh, okay, you can see it here. Uh, okay, so you can go to uh, the ribbon bar and change one of the properties to the duck one to make it fit fit in with the the form. This one and just say this so I got the ribbon bar so if you go to the ribbon bar and if you want to change uh, the for example if you want to go to the form and uh, want to change the form properties to be the uh, the Windows Office properties so you go to the form and uh, you try go to let me just go to the right to the form and here just want to view the code okay uh, from here you can see here uh, we just get we extend the form so what I want to do here just want to extend the dev component so in order to do that just go dev component and .NET par and after that you just select the uh, Windows Office form so uh, here you can see the ribbon form which one you want to check uh, let me select office form or ribbon form this one so after you just select it back to the design mode you can see it's completely uh, as you can see here it's completely different okay so as you can see here if you want to run this uh, and, and see what you got here so run the program it will be com uh, compiled and as you can see here we got the ribbon form okay so that's cool uh, if you wanna for example if you wanna forget about ribbon par uh, for a minute uh, let me just come up to the ribbon par and try to delete it okay so here uh, let me just extend the window form the form office form like this okay we got the office form and inside the office form you should put the ribbon so okay here 
at the ribbon bar uh, you can put it okay over here okay or you can add other, uh, other things like uh, what else component we have uh, you can add the uh, ribbon control as you can see here so if you want to run this let me check what is going on so I just run the after adding the ribbon control as you can see here we got the ribbon control you can maximize the screen and uh, it got the similar look and feel uh, for uh, office okay so can exit this okay uh, you can add other components navigation bar uh, check boxes it's completely different component that the what is you what, what is used in uh, visual studio uh, okay this is pretty much for now uh, just this is just an introduction to uh, the dot net uh, the dot net par component I hope you enjoy this uh, maybe in the next few days I will prepare bring you a new tutorial about this diff component there's a lot of uh, component that you can use and which give you a professional look and feel you can design many programs and with a with a great look and feel and you can sell them in you know what I'm saying so thank you guys for watching thank you guys for interest in this topic and in the next few tutorial I'll try all my best to provide you with a new tutorial that you think are not exist in YouTube so See you later. Thank you.